Hi everybody, this is Jennifer and welcome to my channel. Uh, this is my second time filming this because my phone decided it would like to film everything sideways the last time I tried, so let's get going on that. Um, today's video is going to be my reading plans for April. Uh, my I'm not doing a March wrap up because I read exactly two books. Um, my Mammoth, Christianity of the First 3000 Years by German Kola and Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, and each of those books will be getting their own separate reviews or discussions. I'm not gonna, I don't know that I'm gonna call them reviews. I like both of them, and I'm not gonna, might crit critique just a little, but mostly it's gonna be discussions. So I'll just show you right now what I'm going to do for April. Um, my main two goals for reading in April is to clear out my currently reading and to participate, well, okay, make that three, three goals, uh, to clear out my currently reading, to participate and read as much as I can for Dewey's 24 hour readathon, and to take part in the recommendations readathon that is being hosted by um, Amanda Center and Acacia Ives. So I'm gonna give you my TBR for those things right now. Um, Dewey's 24 hour readathon is April 6th. Um, I'm on the East Coast so it's going to be from 8 to 8 I'm pretty sure. That's how it usually is. Um, I'm going to, I'm, I'm not going to have a special TBR for Dewey's. I'm going to try to read from my recommendations readathon TBR since that's the day that starts. Um, the recommendations readathon is where you read books that were recommended on some of your your um, the booktube channels you watch and that you put on your TBR and you've had them on there and you want to read these recommendations that you put on there because of your booktube favorites. So um, yeah, that is from April 6th to April 14th. So it includes um, two weekend, two full weekends and the week in, week in between, of course, for nine days total to read your booktube recommendations. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with that. Uh, the first book I am reading for the BookTube Recommendations Readathon is Post Office by Charles Bukowski. Um, this has been highly recommended by Adrian and Dalton over at Stripped Coverlet. Um, it is about this man. It's you know, it's by Charles Bukowski. It's kind of semi-autobiographical, I, I, I think. And this man, Henry Chinaski, he works at a lowly post office position to, um, what is, bankroll his real loves, which is, you know, women, booze, and the pony races. So, um, I'm looking... I'm looking forward to read this. It's only 160 pages long, so I think I should be able to get this done reasonably well during Dewey's 24-hour readathon. Next up is another small one, and this was recommended by Andrea over to Infinite Text. It's The Sorrows of Young Werther by uh, Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. Um, it's got an introduction by Burton Pike. It's a new translation. This is the Everyman's Library, no, the Modern Library Classics edition. Um, and this is about a young man who, you know, he gets involved with an inappropriate woman, I'm pretty sure, and he has feelings, very strong feelings about that, and I don't think it ends well. So that is another book I'm trying to read during Dewey's 24 hour readathon. Next up for the recommendations, this book was recommended on Olive at a Book Olive channel. Um, this is Tuesday Nights in 1980 by Molly Prentiss. Um, it is about three people, a um, art critic, an Argentinian exiled painter, and a lady by the woman by the name of Lucy Olson. She's from a small town and she's got big dreams. And they hang out in Soho in the art scene in the 1980s. Um, in particular, 1980, which is the year I was born, which was one reason why I really wanted to watch, um, sorry, read this. So I am looking forward to it. 
Um, I do not know when I'm going to start this during the readathon, but we'll see. It's high on my list of books I want to read for it. Next up is the last physical book I have. It is Tiger Man by Nick Harkaway. This was recommended on uh, Steve Donahue's channel. Um, I'm kind of 50-50 with books that I've gotten off of Steve's channel, but I have high hopes for this one. Um, let's see here. Um, there's a sergeant by the name of Lester Ferris, and he is, he's had a very long career and he's about to retire. So he gets put on this island called Mancro. Moncro, I'm pretty sure it's called. Um, and there's a lot of crime and it is about to be destroyed. The, the island's pretty much about to be destroyed. So he's just hanging tight there, trying not to notice things. And he makes friends with a street kid and stuff goes down. So I'm very interested to see how I get on with Nick Harkaway. And if I like this one, then I'm gonna go on to Nam Naman, I think it's called or something like that. Um, yeah, but I'm gonna try this first. Um, my next set of recommendations that I'm going for, um, these were all recommended by Elizabeth over at Books and Pieces, and I really love her channel. I was so glad when it came back. Um, and I get lots of, uh, she was the big reason why I read um, the M Yoon Ha Lee series, um, Raven Stratagem, Nine Fox Gambit, Raven, Raven Stratagem, and then the last, well, I don't remember, I, can, I can't tell you right off the top of my head what the last one in that series was, but I really enjoyed them, and I'm looking forward to reading some of these here that I also saw on her channel. First up is Europe in Autumn by Dave Hutchinson. Um, this is the start of the Fractured Europe sequence. Um, right now it's a series of four books. I'm not sure if there's going to continue to be others. Um, but there, it involves a man named Rudy who gets into the trade of taking people across the borders of a fractured Europe. So it's not really the same as you remember it. It's really weird. And it, it, it's, it's broken up into all different kinds of pieces. And he gets into the trade of taking people across the borders stuff like that so I hope that will be very good it sounds like it will be very fun anyway <laughs> sorry next up is Children of Time by Adrian Tchaikovsky so this group of humans have to leave Earth for this planet they've tried to terraform but something's gone really wrong and the planet's now inhabited by sentient giant spiders. So they gotta figure out what to do there. <laughs> I mean, seriously, you had me at giant sentient spiders. <laughs> Just sounds great. Um, next up is Bengti by Nettie Akorfor. This is another one I'm gonna try to get um, read during Dewey's 24 hour readathon. Um, and it's about Benty, who gets to go off planet to this special school, um, despite the fact that her parents don't really want her to go, but she's the first person in her, I think it's her country, that gets to go to this prestigious school. So she really wants to go, and I'm looking forward to it. It's only like 90 pages on the first one, but I have the rest of the, the trilogy, so I want to get this one read sooner rather than later. And then the last one is, all right, I moved off the Embers of War by Gareth Powell. And this revolves around an AI who was on a um, warship who regrets her actions during the battles. And now she wants to be, now she is a rescue ship. And I'm not sure what happens after that. But I am interested in finding out because I think it, I don't know. I just think AIs are really interesting. Um, and the AI Aiden in the Illuminae Files is my favorite character in all of those books. Um, so 
those are all the books that I am reading for the recommendations readathon um, during Dewey's 24-hour readathon. If I need to use, well, and I definitely will need to hit up an audiobook. I've got two downloaded. Um, one is *The Song of Achilles* by Madeline Miller, and the other is *Spooky Action at a Distance* by George Musser, and that is about um, quantum entanglement. So, the two. Well, okay. So the three books that I have on my currently reading that I'm going to try to get read in April. One is an ebook here. It's *Kings of the Wild* by um, Nicholas Eames, and it's a about a band of fighters who, even though they've all like gone their separate ways and started doing other stuff, they get back together to save the daughter of one of their, their members. Um, and then next up is Kentucky, which I have, I'm getting near halfway to. Yay. And then um, it's about, it's Thor Heyerdahl and his crew who want to um, build a raft and then try to prove that South American South Americans could have sailed from Peru to Polynesia. So, so far I've gotten to the point where they're trying to build their raft. But once they get on the, the high seas, I'm really interested in how they fare on that. And then the last book that is on my TBR is, well, that is on my currently reading list is The Magic Mountain by Thomas Mann. I still have a good 600 pages left of this, so I doubt I'm gonna finish this in April, but I am planning on getting a good chunk done uh, because I'm. this has been on my currently reading since November of 2007, and this is as far as I've gotten. Uh, so I am really <laughs> wanting to get started on this because I do not like having it on my currently reading that long. All right, so those are my reading plans for the month of April. Um, I will put all the details to the readathons I'm taking part in in the description box below, as long as the de as well as the details of the books I'm going to read. Um, if you want to, please put what you're reading this month, or if you've read any of the books that I've mentioned in the video, please put your thoughts in the comments also. I highly recommend you uh, look into these readathons. I'm sure they're going to be a whole lots of fun. All right, I got to go now and do dishes. <laughs> Bye.